Welcome to our class on how to do sort of an abstract floral field. And this is going to be pretty easy for you to do. And you can um, use whatever colors that you want, whatever colors that you have on hand. The colors that I will be using today are light blue, light pink, sort of a darker uh, pink, orange, light green, and dark green, and of course, white. Always need a lot of white. And in terms of what kind of canvas I'm using, this is an eight by 10 canvas that I picked up at my local um, craft store and it was only $3, it was on sale, so that's good. You'll also need a couple of smaller brushes if you have them. These, these tend to have like a little fine point on the end, so they're good for making little details. So any kind of smaller brush. A bigger brush, this is just a plain old craft brush that I got, again, at my local craft store. And if you have a spoon, that would be helpful. This is a palette knife. It's uh, actually brand new, I'm very excited to use it. But if you don't have a, a palette knife, you can just use a spoon. And a regular, uh, another palette knife, or you can use a regular sort of knife if you have one, an old plastic one hanging around, or something that you don't use anymore, a piece of cutlery. And if you don't have that, you can always use an old credit card. So those are the things that you're gonna need, a little bit of water, of course, and um, paper towel. So we shall begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the sort of the sky, and I'm just gonna dip in some white and some blue, and I'm just gonna make straight across, um, sweeping paint across the canvas, very easy. And I will warn you that I'm a messy painter and I don't always follow the rules. So I just kind of dip into the paint. Um, I don't pre-mix it necessarily. Sometimes I do, but not often. Um, very often I just put it right on the canvas, paint right on the canvas and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna bring the sky down to about um, three quarters of the way down. Right about right there. Okay, I'm just sort of working the paint in. You can do the sides, of course. We wanna do the sides. Um, that always gives us sort of a little of a professional look. You just, I used to wait to do the sides at the end and then I would forget what colors I used and then it was a big mess, so. Um, I force myself to do the sides while I'm painting and that saves me time, energy, and a headache from trying to figure out what colors I used. Okay. Sometimes I go like this. I bring the paint up in both directions. It's a little something right there. Pull that off. Um, just so that it mixes in really well onto the canvas. So we just have a very nice light blue sky. And we can go back in and put some clouds in if you want, or we could just leave it like this. I think it actually looks pretty. And um, if I want to do some clouds, I could just do some like brush strokes like that. But actually, I kind of like this just plain blue sky. And we're gonna go with this because I'm gonna to try to keep this as easy as possible for you guys. Okay, so I'm bringing it down about three quarters. So this area is gonna be the grass area. All right, so using the same brush, I'm gonna clean it off um, and I'm going to dip it in the water and try to get off as much paint as possible. But if, even if there's a little bit of paint left on it, that's okay because this is um, abstract sort of painting. So we're mixing colors and just playing around. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the green the two greens together, and I'm just gonna start going like this, painting in upward strokes. Now this brush is pretty thin on the side, um, but even if you just lay pretty much any brush flat on its side, it's gonna make these sort of fun little uh, strokes that look like grass. And you can go in different directions like that. Okay. Sort of back and forth. Back in. Like that. 
whole idea is to bring in some different variations in color if possible so that it doesn't look so flat. And one thing I did notice when I started learning to paint is, oops, I picked up a little bit of orange there, but that's okay. We're just going to go over it. Um, I noticed that really all painting is a process of steps. Just like you would if you were baking a cake. And you see the cake at the end with all the icing on it. It looks beautiful and delicious and tasty. But we don't think about necessarily the eggs and the flour and all the baking and all that stuff that went into it. And painting is the exact same way. It's a series of steps. So step one was the sky. Step two is the grass. Just like that. So I'm moving back and forth to the darker colors here. And again, we wanna do the sides if you can, without making a mess. And normally I would pick up my canvas and move it around, but I don't wanna do that right now, so, uh, because it would look weird on the camera. So I'm just gonna go like this. And then just sort of lightly hold on so that this doesn't move around and just paint down the sides and just sort of Mixing the colors right on the canvas. Don't worry about that. We can fix that in a minute. I make a lot of messy mistakes. That's what's fun about painting. So now I'm just going to go back in and I'm very lightly going over that area that I just kind of messed around with. Just nice and light. And I'm sort of flipping back and forth the paintbrush so that it's on its side, then it's regular, then it's on its side, just sort of like that. Okay, and I'm just gonna add in some darker colors now. So I'm gonna use that darker green, give it a little bit of texture, depth. What's fun about this too is you don't necessarily have to wait for this to dry. You can just layer it in while it's wet. Sometimes you have to wait for the layers to dry. Well, often you have to do that, I should say. With my larger pieces, sometimes there's like eight, nine, ten layers of paint on it. But this one, we're just going to go for it. Go crazy. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to lay down my brush right now. I'm just going to take my credit card. And I'm just gonna draw some little lines in it like this. Just give it a little bit of texture. Just kind of mess around like that. I'm going lightly, I'm not going very heavy. There we go. Yeah, so it just gives it a little bit of fun uh, details, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that credit card and I'm just gonna dip it right into the greens and get some paint on the side of it. And we're just gonna bring up some stems like that. So I'm just bringing the stems in different directions. Some are shorter, some are longer, some are going one direction, some are going the other. Like that. There's no really rhyme or reason to it. You just play around, see what you like. We're looking at a meadow, be all kinds of uh, variations and colors. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We can go back in and put some leaves in. I might actually just scrape this a little bit, just like that. Again, just kind of giving it a little bit of texture. But if I don't like it, guess what? You can go back in with your brush. Go over it again. And all those little scrapes and scratches are are removed. Pretty neat. Okay, now comes the fun part, which is making the flowers. So we're going to be using these pinks and whites and oranges. And again, you can use a brush for this. You do not have to use a palette knife or a spoon or really anything. You can use whatever you want. Uh, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that, that pink there and I'm going to add in a little bit of white. And I'm just going to mix it around a little bit. 
And I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter pink and I'm mixing it in here like that. So it's just, it's just kind of a mess, but we like that, a mess is good, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start doing some light little flowers like that. Okay, nice and easy. Sort of abstracting. Different sizes, different directions. Pretty. I'm giving her sort of different tones of the of the paint in here. And it's not supposed to look like perfect little flowers. These are abstract flowers. Sorry if you can hear the trucks outside. <laughs> I'm in a big building with a bunch of businesses and uh, FedEx and, and UPS are here almost every single day, picking up and dropping off, okay. So that looks pretty good. So maybe just a little bit more over here, like that, okay. So um, I think I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna stop right here for a minute and then look at this. Now what I suggest you do is to prop your painting up and walk back away from it. Now I can't do that right now because I'm doing this tutorial for you guys, but what this called is perspective. And so we paint really close to our, our canvas obviously, but when we look at art, whatever kind of art it is it's usually from far away so you want to do that as much as you can is prop it up take like five ten steps back look at it and you'll intuitively know what else you need to do so that's the thing that i do probably five ten fifteen times through a paint um through a painting so just know that that is something that i highly recommend you do as we go through this okay so now i'm going to take the the white and i'm going to dip it into the orange and we're gonna get a little bit of orange going here. Okay, add in a little bit of that pink. And this time I'm just gonna do some little dots, just like that, little dots. Okay. Sort of randomy, um flowers, because when we look at wildflowers, they're all different kinds. These are pretty cool looking. This one right here, oops, I'm sorry, move the camera around a little bit. Um, it's kind of weird looking, so I'm just gonna mess around with that one a little bit. And the paint goes on thick and that's okay, we want it to be thick. Now let's just say I'm looking at that and I'm like, you know what, I don't, I don't really like the way that that looks. I can go back in with my brush and just kind of mess around and make them into little flowers like that. Just sort of bring out petals, okay? And then we can put in a little some more detail. You can do that. You can do whatever you want. That's the fun part of this. All right, so we'll, I'm just putting some petals in. How am I doing that? I'm just pulling the paint out. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 like that. There's no sort of perfect way of doing it. Here we go. And now they look completely different than what they did before. So I might even go back in and just take a little bit more paint and add in a little bit more details, a little bit more thickness. And we'll come back to those. That looks pretty. I like that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other brush, this one, and I'm just gonna do some light pink and we're just gonna do some um, regular old flowers, regular old, I should say, there's really any kind of flower you want, but I'm just gonna do a, a, a petal, a petal, and then a petal like that, okay? So bring in like that. So it almost looks like a tulip. Doop, doop. If this is too light or you want to add in some more um, color, you can mix in some whites with it. So you're getting a little bit more of a toned pattern. You can even put in orange, whatever you want. Let's do this. I'll put some white in here. White on this one too. 
it's just playing around. That's what it is. And you don't have to use a lot of paint. These are just little tiny bits. Um, so let's see, I'll probably put, well, let's see here. This is one of those things where you have to stop and think for a second and again, get that perspective if you can. Where else should I put some more flowers? Because you don't want too many in one area. You don't want too little. You want sort of a balanced composition. A little bit over here. Like that. Good. So you can you see how I'm just sort of layering back in colors here. All right. Um, I think I'll put another one over here. And let's see. I think I'm going to do um, another sort of orangey one down here. Just little, little, little guys like that. Playing around, guys. Just playing around. Don't make it complicated. Doesn't have to be. It's supposed to be fun. It is fun. Okay. So, do we have one over here? Another one up here. Like that. And do another one this way. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty cool. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in some white. And I'm just gonna use that same brush and just clean it off. And I'm gonna do little dots like this, just simple dots. Okay, nothing fancy. Dot, 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 dot. We'll put in like three, three or five of these. I always do odd numbers and never do singles if possible. I mean, excuse me, um, even numbers. You wanna do uh, threes, fives, uh, seven, so on and so forth. Because that's the way that nature is actually, is it's, well, nothing is perfect in nature. So it's sort of odd numbers. And our eye seems to like that better. Our brain and our eye seems to like that. So that's four. And then I think I'm just going to do one more right here. Add that in. Like that. There we go. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is, is we're going to add in our, um, some leaves. Okay. Which is really fun to do and you can use any kind of brush for this you can use a little tiny brush to make little tiny leaves you can use um, a flat brush like this uh, whatever you want to do so i'm going to use this brush it is not in great shape as you can tell but um i've had it for three years and i love it because it's just really good for making leaves as you can tell <laughs> you'll see um so i really like this brush but you can use whatever you want okay we're just gonna go in and put some leaves in here and there. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the brush and I'm angling it down towards the stem. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and then just sort of flicking it, flick, like that. So it's a light sort of motion, very light, right? And you wanna put in a fair amount of greenery because the greenery is what sort of fills in the holes and the edges with your um, artwork. Bigger leaves toward the bottom. Smaller leaves as you go up. You can even do, um, you could even make like a little green like one of these where they very lightly, the 
um, is called filler. That's what they usually use for when you're doing a bouquet. Stock, I think sometimes they call it too. It's just very sort of light little uh, green stalks that they put in there. Add some of that in. So this is obviously the final sort of part that we would uh, do for this painting, but you can go back to it over and over and over as much as you want and add in as much as you want. Um, oftentimes I do that. I go back in and I add in stuff much, much later. Okay. Now I'm, I am going to, as we're almost, almost done with this, I'm going to clean off my little brush, this little guy right here. Okay. And I'm going to use some green paint and I'm just going to bring up like sort of some random grasses like that, like that, like that very lightly. This is not a heavy, fix that a little bit there. It's not a heavy brush stroke. So, and just kind of bring in the grasses like this. So they're little, doot, um, doot, like that, okay? Some little strokes here. And there you guys have it. Okay, and you can go back in, like I said, and play around a little bit more, adding more leaves, adding more grasses, adding more flowers. You can do whatever you want. Okay. And there you have it. Pretty simple to do. Really, really pretty. And the, the you don't really even have to know how to paint at all to do this. Um, it's so simple to do. And they make great gifts. People love these. So there you have your very simple wildflower um, painting and I hope you guys enjoyed this and please leave your comments below. Thank you so much.